and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Garen Draven. Played this eight days ago. It was pretty awesome. It was fun to play and also felt pretty powerful. So we're going to go ahead and try it some more and see how it goes. Um, not changing a single card. Uh, you know, like we're just going to keep it as is. Um, you know, we got our support stuff. Legion Drummer was an all-star helping support some different things, especially supporting like Trifarian Glory Seeker, Laurent Protégé, Laurent Chevalier. Remember the Chevalier was really good for us, uh, being able to create more challengers for us. And we have other ways to strike because we are a Garen deck, and so Garen wants to strike twice to level up. So more ways to get Garen to strike. We have Concerted Strike and Whirling Death and Single Combat. All of those is ways to strike outside of combat. Um, so this is our deck. This one was pretty sweet. This is a donation deck that we had, like I said, eight days ago. It was awesome. We're going to play it again. To start off, today, Friday, fun deck Friday. Um, all right, here we go. Uh, let's see. I like Chevalier, I like Draven, I like Legion Drummer, single combat, kind of cool. I'm just going to keep this. I guess, well, I should have really looked at what we were playing against. I honestly didn't really look at what I was playing against first until I already hit the keep. But I, I think I should have mulliganed at Chevalier because um, their deck's really good at removal. And like, you know, one and two damage things, you know, Mystic Shots, Make It Rains, all that kind of stuff. Static Shock. And so, like, a four, for four mana, getting a two health unit, um, very easy to kill with Mystic Shots and so on. It's time. So I think I probably should have mulliganed at the Chevalier. And then, honestly, we probably don't need single combat in this matchup, really, either. I, I should have looked at what I was playing against first. Suck. But we'll see. Maybe it'll, maybe it'll work out. Only time will tell. Deal me in. Huh. Has the serpentine? That's aggressive there. Let's go. And their swords. Are they playing stun cards? They're not really playing stun cards, right? Like, I can... Can I play Fleet Feather Tracker? Let's see, if I go Tracker and Drummer, that's three mana, so I'd have four left. So I'd have one of Whirling Death or Single Combat. We'll just... We'll just go straight here. Okay. Safety will cost you. Okay, game sounds all a bit loud. So I'm trying, you know, like the, for those of y'all who watched the videos yesterday, let's let's just try turning that down. All right, let me know how that goes. I know this board is super loud, and I already turned down the the board volume because of it. Um, but I'm trying turning down the gain on the microphone. So hopefully the sound, hopefully make the sound better. But you know we're gonna have to adjust volumes accordingly. Um, yeah, we'll just kind of let this happen for now. Sharpen the blades, secure the kill. You started without me. One mana Trifarian Glory Seeker. That's a good card to take with Black Market Merchant. It's a good one to take. All right, well, basically, I want the Garen to strike, so our Legion Drummer is just going to die, unfortunately. But I want the Garen to strike. So that's one strike for Garen. 
So how's how's that? Is that Shreve? Is that does that sound better? Oh, I love Ranger's Resolve. That's a great one. All right, and we get to play Elm Hearts and still have single combat. I guess we don't get single combat and Ranger's Resolve. Um. Okay, that sounds better. Cool, cool, cool. Um, it's like a, I could what I could go spinning axe and discard either Chevalier or Ranger's Resolve. I guess it'd probably be. I don't want to discard Chevalier, do I? I don't really want to discard either of those. Just to level up Garen. Maybe I just single combat with the Garen and kill the 2 1. And then Garen's still leveled up. Yeah, I guess I guess that's the thing to do. Hey, original Mars, thanks for arriving. Happy to have you here. Yeah, that's... You're right, as Air Sparrow. Back-to-back -back is really strong and it should probably be used more. They took two great cards from me, you know? Like, they took back-to-back -to -back and they took that one-mana Trifarian Glory Seeker. They took a couple of pretty great cards. Um... This is just so difficult. I want a spinning axe. a repose from me also? Oh, they must have played a Pilfer Goods that I didn't realize and forgot about. Just in case, just in case they had another removal spell that they were going to play Chevalier, that they were going to kill Chevalier, I wanted Whirling Death after that. Man, they did take some great spells from me to make this one closer.
<laughs> affection at 4 Oh, I have never made an affection at 4 before. Forgot that's an option. All right, good. The Yordle Grifter missed this time. <laughs> that is a high value challenge vision right there. <clears throat> uh, bipolar in. Which one was your donation deck? My my list is in the the other room. It's in the the living room right now. Because I think I played it. What did you have? Okay, no, no, no. Orok with Ember Maiden? Okay, no, I was gonna wait on Orok with Ember Maiden until Monday. What's their Ezreal at? 7 out of 8, so this would level up Ezreal. Uh, maybe I just keep single combat to kill Ezreal. To kill actual Ezreal. I guess I do that. I guess I just let them have leveled up Ezreal, but then we wait to kill real kill Ezreal. So yeah, okay. Yep, I'll play yours. I'm going to be playing yours on Monday. Garen is weak. Garen's pretty tough to kill. Alright, GG's. Even with them taking some really good quality spells from me with the back-to-back, -back, the um, repost, the one mana five one challenger, they had you know like they those were high quality nab cards. Yeah, Zufar. Good, you're in here. Yep, gonna play yours today. I live in Texas. Yeah, Ranger's Resolve was nice. It's true. Alright, Shadow Isles, Ezreal. Spooky Ezreal. Alright, we're gonna mulligan Chevalier this time. And... I don't know. I mean, it's nice to have Bright Seal Protector on turn two, I guess. It's not the best turn two card. But I should probably keep it. I think I'm going to double spell. And I am worried about Withering Whale, which is why I don't want to play Glory Seeker. I'm worried about Withering Whale. I think I think their deck plays Withering Whale, but I guess that doesn't target as far as like leveling up Ezreal is concerned. Yours. 
So win here. So even if they if they had like something that was going to do one damage to the Fleet Feather Tracker, they wouldn't kill the Tracker because we'd have the Quick Attack also. So we had a Quick Attack and a Barrier. Gonna keep double spelling over here. My heart and sword for Drop Garen. Already played one thermogenic team. Right. Nope. Deck's looking pretty good. They have to just cast that because they had too many cards in hand. They were just going to burn that top card. Get rid of their blocker. And level up Garen. Yeah, let's press the advantage. That's a cool YouTube video title. Press the advantage. Stay resolute. Stay resolute. Pretty sweet. Garen still underrated. 5-5 five, five, regenerate. Super difficult to kill against like these Ezreal decks. Pretty tough for them. You know, that one could have had vengeance, I suppose, but still a tough card to kill. Yeah, that's true. Box could be better than whale. Certainly. I do think doing, th I mean, doing three damage is a lot more valuable than doing one damage, but it's it's more situational, you know, it's not just one damage to everything, always like Whale, you know, it's only three damage to the things that just came out that turn. It's hard to say, you know, like, I guess it kind of depends on deck build and metagame and that kind of stuff, but I would probably rather play the box right now than a Withering Whale. Maybe I don't keep Glory Seeker. I mean, Glory Seeker is just going to be removal for, like, Callista. So it's probably fine. Hopefully it doesn't get Vile Feasted. Turn two War Chefs. Turn three Protege. Turn four Double Spell with Drummer Glory Seeker. I pull the strings. Do you think Rekindler Garen C game in the current meta? Possibly. I just don't know what else really Shadow Isles adds to Garen deck. We could use um, the bike. I mean, Rekindler is nice, of course, but I think, but Shadow Isles just kind of in general is a little weaker for this kind of deck. I think, like, I, I don't think it adds enough.
because like it doesn't it doesn't help like you know one drop two drop three drop i mean Demasi already does have some pretty good one two and three but it doesn't really help there doesn't really help with four you know, like you know maybe if you're just completely Demacia and you're a bannerman and then you're just like splashing rekindler and harrowing um you know maybe you could just do that as like a, a slight Demacia splash of like rekindler harrowing mayhaps I guess if I play Tracker instead of Glory Seeker, I can have single combat available. So I know I know this bark beast is gonna turn into four power and kill my tracker, but I, I guess I wanted to kill tracker more than these things. I didn't really have Yeah, I, I was kinda running out of time too. This is a little rough, you know, with there wasn't like really a good way for me to, to kill the bark beast. Oh I could have put the bark beast first! I could have just done this challenge first. Ah. Uh. Yeah, I could've just done this challenge first. I was running out of time. Um, this isn't great. Yeah, I, sh I should've done that first and then done the rest of this. I was just, I was fixated on, like, having to have Drummer or War Chefs first to support Tracker. I was fixated on that um, in my mind until it was just, you know, a little bit too late. That's why, that's what uh, kind of messed me up there. Mm, that's a great card. That's a great card. That takes out two of these things. That's pretty great. Yeah, I messed up that order. I need Garen. I need a larger thing than just all these one health things that I have. Ouch. A tribute to the spider god. That's gotta be game. That two great great turns in a row for them. That's gotta be game.
Alright, two and one. So this is what losing feels like? Sucks. Great hand, GG's. They got me. That was a very good hand. And yeah, I, I messed up that attack turn, but the Fury of the North still kind of blew me out. Radiant Guardian is really good against aggro and not really necessary against anything else. And our deck, for the most part, is usually pretty good against aggro. Um, with all like the different challengers and stuff. Like Obviously, we lost that game, but... Um, it's just not a card that they really want in a lot of matchups. You know, like, you don't just put Vanguard Cavalry in all your decks, the 5-mana, five 5-5 five, five tough. And Radiant Guardian is just that with, like, extra steps. Like, you don't you don't always get it. Like, you have to, you have to work harder to try to get 5-mana, five 5-5 five, five tough. Um... And then you know it can have you know can ha and then at that point it can have life steal, but that life steal isn't always valuable against every deck. So a lot of matchups, it's just like at best Vanguard Cavalry. I pull the strings. Well, they have another perfect hand again of Omen Hawk into Elise. We could use a bite. And. Didn't work out too well for me. The party has arrived. Let's do this. Okay, well, they had nothing that turn. That helps us stabilize. Hmm. Obviously, we're going to be playing Rangers Resolve. I don't want them just to draw two cards. It's like we're basically. I know that single combat would kind of be better with Garen, but that's a three-card swing. Instead of them getting two cards, I get I get one card. So it is a three-card swing. But now I don't have the mana for Garen and Rangers Resolve. We could go. Glory Seeker and Whirling Death. That's interesting. Then we could level up Draven. Um, no, I'm going to go Garen. They don't have Vile Feast. No. Uh. That just hurts so much because they're not going to put the Neverglade Collector into combat, so I'm not going to be able to Whirling Death it. Uh. That was... Honestly, like if, if they don't have Vile Feast there, I'm very confident we're winning the game, but with Vile Feast, I'm very confident we're not winning the game. So so completely changed. Just like that. So we're going down to three. I stand ready. Ladies, 
Yeah, that vile piece. Whatever, man. Not my fault. I don't necessarily think that that's that's going to be a bad matchup for us over time, even though we lost both times to it. They really had great hands both times. You know, Omen Hawk into Elise both times. And with Blighted, Blighted Caretaker doing a bunch of work. But we lost both of those. Ezreal Twisted Fates. Love Rangers Resolve. Yeah, maybe it is a bad matchup. I mean, that's true that Endure, the card Endure is not not super easy. And we have all those concerted strikes. Yeah, Blighted Caretaker is awesome. That one's great. What's up, Potato? It's fun Friday. Go ahead, attack. Do it. Ooh. Protege or Tracker plus. Alright, if I go if I go tracker plus protector the next turn at four mana, I'm only single spelling. I think I go Protege, so the next turn I go Tracker Draven. Alright. Well, at least we got an extra card out of him. We have the same number of cards in hand, but we got a 2 1 in play. My friends, though. Heavy pockets, huh? Time for the main event. Yeah, they're tapped out, so they couldn't make a rain then, and I was going to be going with protectors here. Like a 2 1 Warchefs that has tough. Like, you only save two life. I guess because they want to get rid of the barrier and then use a Mystic Shot on this, I guess. Or Thermogenic Beam? Okay. Seems like they could have. Alright. I guess I'd rather kill the 2 1 Warchefs than the, the 3 2 Bright Steel Protector. Even though the two on Warshafts would still be super easy to kill now. I thought you'd never ask. I hope they don't have like a get excited. No, they had two mana gotcha. Ugh. You suck. 
Gross. That hurt. That was an Ezreal's Mystic shot, so he did shuffle an Ezreal back into the deck. They don't really make this easy, don't they? So we go this one and this one. Should protect both of those. Yeah. Yeah, Riptide Rex. First time we played against this deck, they did not have Riptide Rex, and our life was a lot easier. Certainly more difficult with Riptide Rex than without. Well, it didn't have Rex on 8 the, the last time we played against this deck. Oh, that's... Well, that's unfortunate. They had two removal spells. Couldn't you have drawn the Twisted Fate the previous turn? Eh, it still would have been a good draw for me. Hey, Doctor in house. <laughs> Looks like we're going to be two and three. Not the best of luck for us this game. My hope is drawing another Garen. That's my only hope. Oh my gosh. See, I had to write down the two and three, and then, then we got some luck. Yeah, I think we have to use it now. It'd be nice to wait. Unfortunately, my opponent sniffed that one out. Really wanted them to attack with everything. Of the woods, the 
Okay, Genevieve Elmhart was our best draw. Can they call me a shark? That's game. A lot of them are going at the Fleet Feather Tracker, that's gonna be pretty damage. Riptide Rex is super powerful. I think our deck's really good. Uh, yeah, I know we went two and three. I I think pretty highly of this deck. I think this is a, a good deck. I mean, five games, anything you know, anything can happen. Um, you know, my opponent just had had perfect cards multiple times to uh, kill us. Um, no, I don't really think Rex needs a nerf. I think I think they really need to change the animation on Riptide Rex. Um, it's too many cannonballs and too slow and too loud, but the card's fine. Um, let's see. Yeah, that's that's kind of about it with the deck. Uh, I like this one. I it does seem like War Chefs should probably be a three of, not a two of. Especially if you're gonna be playing against those kind of removal heavy decks, like. It probably should be War Chefs 3, Legion Drummer 2, as far as the two mana commons go. Legion Drummer is just a lot better with Glory Seeker, but War Chefs is better with everything else, basically. I guess I guess Legion Drummer is great with Chevalier also. Um, but... Yeah, Garen's great, and this deck is good, too. All right, so that's it for Garen Draven. Those of y'all watching on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And, of course, feel free to let me know with the, the sound. Hopefully, the sound was better uh, today than it was yesterday. You know, keep me updated on that kind of stuff. But anyway, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.